Okay, so I covered Ubuntu Mate yesterday and today I'm covering Ubuntu Budgie, just sort of having a first look uh, and seeing what the operating system is like. So you can see at the bottom there is uh, there's a nice dock there with some useful things in there. Different icons as you can see, so the Firefox isn't as recognisable and some of the others while the files is good. Um, so you've got a software app store, you've got Rhythmbox, so for music, writer, calculator, files and Firefox. If I go up to the top you can see that it's got the usual sort of drop down menus. Uh, there are some games on here but very basic ones it looks like, kind of very Windowsy type games in the olden days. Uh, so graphics, document scanner, image viewer and as you can see if you hover over it does the same sort of thing where it tells you a bit more about it. So Office comes with uh, LibreOffice various different bits in there, calendar, I don't know what iBus preferences is, set iBus preferences, don't know what that is, science, sound and video, What's ch oh cheese was, um, that was on Ubuntu Mate as well, take photos and videos with your webcam, front end for MPV, system tools, I'll go to budgie desktop settings in a minute and have a look at that. Uh, you can see various things about restart and so on. Software app store on here. Um, what you will find with some of these software app stores, um, and I'll launch that, but I'll go through. Uh, so where was I? Sound and video, system tools. Oh, why is it not changing? Oh, I have to click on it. I'm sure I was moving down before. Right, so administration, software updater which is good to have so it looks after itself, additional drivers, settings, sound, universal access, I don't know what that is, screen magnifier, on screen keyboard and utilities. So you can check, if you don't like the icons that they use, they're a very sort of um, you know, very basic looking icon set that they use. Uh, this is all changeable within the system. Um, but I wanted to show, so it says here that unable to download updates, internet access re was required. I've got, I've had this with uh, various Ubuntu uh, systems that I've, that I've installed. Even though I'm on a wired connection and I can prove that I've got an internet connection uh, by going into Firefox. Now I could try connecting it to Wi-Fi, but I haven't got a long time to do this video so I'm not going to do that now. So this will be Firefox, right let's just do a web search and as you can see it is connected to the internet so for some reason there are uh, things that, that don't recognize that it's connected so if I wanted to go uh, and search for an app so let's just do emulator and hit return So it searches within that and it will allow you to install various things on here. Uh, what you will find is it can be a bit hit and miss because a lot of it is for x86 processors, not ARM processors. Um, but, uh, but yeah, if you wanted to install something, say for instance DOSBox, if I click on that and hit install, screenshot not valid, hit install, oh, nice security and let that do its thing. While it's doing it, if I hover up here, network, no network connection, up, but there is. So I don't know why, why it misreports that. Uh, this is running on the 64-bit um, version, which I addressed in the Ubuntu Mate video yesterday, which works absolutely fine. Uh, quick note, then we've got night light. Also, you can change the, I guess this is changing for if you're using it in a, a at night time, so like, like they've done with phones where it's supposed to not keep you awake so much, right, so different, oh yeah, different sort of files destinations, you can see the two drive, I've got my SSD and I've got my uh, USB stick in there. Sound, I had the same issue with uh, all the Ubuntu systems, I'm using my 99p sound card uh, which works absolutely fine, uh, that's obviously just power down, and I don't know what that is, oh it's a calendar. So, unable to download updates, internet access was required. Right, well, let's ignore that. This is still installing. Stable free. So, while it's doing that, 
if I go down to the dock, and, I, and I, as I've said in other videos, I really like the dock in this position. I like to make it a bit bigger. Um, so if I, oh, I need to right click, but not on a, there you go. So if I right click, but within the gap between the apps and hit preferences, uh, you can make these a lot bigger. And I, I see no reason not to make them huge. Uh, you can also change various different themes. So you can see it's put a, put a little sort of block around it. Um, and then if I go back to, what was default? Oh, oh, it wasn't on default then. It was on transparent before. Uh, and then position, obviously we can change alignment and so on. Behavior, it's got various different settings in there. Uh, and then little different things that you can put on that dock as well. So you can add things to it as well. Um, but there is more, oh, install, oh, so it's on 80%. So let's go into system tools, was it? One of them was, oh yeah, budgie desktop settings. And here we have a bit more control over, so if we didn't like the icons, so if we have a look at the icons at the bottom, uh, I can change, so it's on Mocha. There you go. Now I prefer that, I, do, I, I prefer Firefox to be more obvious as to what it is, although the files, and folders isn't as nice an icon for that. That's a pretty basic one. Uh, Faber. Didn't change. High contrast. Oh, yeah. Is, is high contrast. Humanity. I quite like that one. That works for me. Desktop set. Yeah, yeah, I like that. So I would probably be more inclined to leave it on that setting. And I guess that changes it all in here. I'm pretty sure it's changed it all in here. Internet, yeah, so you can see the Firefox one has changed. So they, they would be a better set of icons. I do like the customization in, in uh, various different Linux and Ubuntu and so on. Uh, I don't know what that is, notification. Oh, dark theme, I thought it looked quite nice on this. I'm not always a big fan of dark theme, but I thought that looked, oh, clicked on the wrong thing. I thought that looked um, a bit nicer as well. So let's close that down. Oh yeah, so well, let's see if it launches. Oh, it does launch. And I haven't got any um, DOS files on there to try, it'll take too long in this video. Okay, so I usually cover my NAS drive. So if I click down to files, uh, you can see here, really nice file structure. If I click on network, you can see my NAS drive and I can have a look in there. And I can, try and play that same file that I usually use, bit Paddington, or more, let's go for more cop today. So this is just the 1080 file. Mm, not that smooth. Surprising, I thought that would have been smoother. Yeah, that's not great. Uh, yeah, that wasn't impressive. Uh, I do find it a bit slower than Ubuntu Mate, for whatever reason. But I do, as an operating system, I like the look of it. Uh, it is it is very nice to use. Right, let's do the internet test and go into Firefox and do my usual thing. Don't hold up a lot of hope for YouTube as it didn't even play the file as well as Ubuntu Mate did yesterday. Uh, so let's go BBC. Open that up. Hot UK deals. And YouTube. So let's go back to BBC. And, oh yeah, scrolling's nowhere near as smooth. So it must use more resources than Ubuntu Mate. And I actually, I really like Ubuntu, mate. It was one, it's one of the best that I've used as an operating system uh, for the Pi. So let's go Hot UK Deals. But this does seem to be slowed down a little uh, in comparison. I, I preferred uh, Lubuntu as well to this. Yeah, that's definitely slower. It definitely doesn't scroll anything like as good. So YouTube is not going to be great. And I'm the only one here using the network at the moment as well. 
Uh, so nobody else is slowing it down. So let's try that same video I did yesterday. Yes, super jerky. And it's not even... So if I now... I can't even click on settings. Settings. I just turn off the audio. Uh, 1080 60. Full screen. Yeah. <laughs> Right, so I hit escape to get rid of that. So, uh, certainly need some optimization for the Pi 4. Uh, I like the look of the operating system. Uh, I like the customizability about it. Um, but, um, but yeah, I, I would be, uh, so at the moment, I reckon if I was going to use something more regularly, I guess it would be Ubuntu Mate, uh, the obvious one, Raspbian. I'm going to go through all the operating systems I've tried and kind of work out which one I think I would be more likely to use. Uh, but I'll do that in another video. But uh, that is uh, Ubuntu Budgie. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.